in scene 10 of A Streetcar Named Desire, Blanche drinks <sighs> liquor and packs her trunk. She wears a crumpled satin evening gown and scuffed silver slippers and puts a rhinestone tiara on her head and looks at herself in the mirror before slamming the mirror down. Stanley enters, and he's a little drunk. He says Stella won't have the baby before morning, so Stanley's come home to get some sleep. Blanche wonders if they are to be alone. Stanley says, yep, and asks why Blanche is dressed in fancy clothes. Blanche claims to have received a telegram from her millionaire friend Shep, inviting her on a Caribbean cruise. Stanley plays along with Blanche's story and enters the bedroom, which makes Blanche skittish. Blanche talks about Shep being a gentleman who can appreciate the fine qualities a woman like Blanche can offer, such as beauty of the mind and richness of spirit, calling Stanley and Mitch swine for slandering her good name. She makes up a story about how Mitch brought roses to her and apologized, but that she rejected his plea for forgiveness, saying that they are just too different. Stanley snaps and calls Blanche out about her lies. There was no telegram or roses. Stanley says Blanche looks ridiculous in her evening gown and tiara. He has been on to her from the start and laughs at her pretense of being a refined lady, like the queen of the Nile. Stanley goes into the bathroom. Frantic, Blanche calls Shep. As she does this, inhuman cries are heard, as if from a jungle, and shadows and lurid reflections move sinuously as flames along the wall. Blanche talks to an operator, asking for Western Union to send a telegram. Stanley comes out of the bathroom, wearing his silk pajamas. He walks between Blanche and the outer door. <gasps> Frightened, Blanche backs away from the phone. She wants Stanley to let her out. He tells Blanche she has to walk past him. She wants him to step aside. The inhuman jungle voices get louder as Stanley menacingly approaches Blanche, who backs up into the bedroom. She smashes a bottle and threatens to twist the broken end in Stanley's face. He lunges at her. Blanche strikes at him with the broken bottle, but Stanley grabs her wrist and tells her to let the bottle go. The <gasps> bottle drops to the floor. Stanley carries Blanche to the bed. This scene hints that Blanche is edging closer to insanity due to the combined pressure of Stanley kicking her out, the failed romance with Mitch, and the revelation of her disreputable past. By clinging to the outdated values of Southern tradition, Blanche has unwittingly set herself up to be destroyed by brutal modern values. She can't maintain her illusions, symbolically slamming the mirror down and cracking it. Stanley uses what he knows about Blanche's past as a weapon to unmask her and expose her raw vulnerabilities because Blanche threatens Stanley's dominance. And Stanley wants to assert that dominance over Blanche, emphasized by the brutality of Stanley's confrontation that utilizes inhuman voices and shadows on the wall that resemble the jungle. <laughs>